hey guys welcome and welcome back if you knew i am whisker and if not hey so this tutorial will be about this barrette hat okay i'm like fall is here it's time to make the barrette hat. and barrettes is such a full essential like it's a must have so this tutorial i will be showing you guys how i made this lovely barrette also there is a pattern I will put it in the description box so you guys could have the pattern as well. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the bell button because I will be posting twice a week now. So keep watching guys. Ciao. So we are going to work the barrette. And what we need is yarn, of course. Any color you want to do. I decided to do a gray barrette. A 5.5 millimeter hook stitch marker so you could use this of course but I tend to use the bobby pin I just think it's much more easier and also a measuring tape so let's get started magic circle and now we're going to do six single crochet so one Two, three, four, five, six, and then after that, you just pull this the string to make it tight okay we are not going to do a slip stitch we are going to continue working our rope all right so i found my stitch marker right here and now we are going to do two single crochet on each stitch so one Place your stitch marker here so we know where we started at. And then two. So two single crochet on each stitch all around. Two, one, two, one, two, one, we are our last stitch now. two all right after that please follow this pattern guys pay attention so we are going to do one single crochet place your stitch marker there and then we're going to increase the next stitch so we're going to put two single crochet then the next stitch one single crochet so that's how we are going to do it one single crochet and then an increase of two single crochet on the next stitch so one two two now the next stitch get a single one next stitch two one two get two single crochet the next one get one single crochet one next one two one two one one, two, 
two. One. One. Two. Okay. Now we add our last stitch. One. So we are right back in the middle again. So we're going to do one single crochet. Place your stitch marker there. And then another single crochet. And then you increase with two single crochet. So one, two. So this pattern is one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochet. So on the third stitch, you increase. One, two, third stitch, two single crochet. One, one, two, third stitch, you single crochet. One, one, third stitch, you single crochet. Then one, one, third stitch, you single crochet. Then one, one, third stitch, you single crochet. Okay, now we add our last stitch one now we are going to do one 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 and then increase on the fourth stitch so each row you increase each row you add a single crochet and then you increase so we here we did three we increased on the third row now we are going to increase on the fourth row and then we're going to increase on the fifth row and then we're going to increase on the sixth row and then we're going to continue doing this until we get to the 18th row so let me move my stitch marker one single crochet place your stitch marker always place your stitch marker so we know where we started at one two three and then the fourth you would increase so you add a stitch on each row so we're going to continue one two three four now we increase on the fourth one two three four one two Three, four. Okay, so we're going to continue doing that. One, two, three. So we're going to continue till we do that around. And once we hit the stitch marker, we add an extra stitch and then increase. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
and then one once we add the stitch marker we're gonna add an extra single crochet so one two three four and then five one and then the fifth you increase so each row at an extra single crochet and then you increase like the first row it was one and then increase second row two single crochet and then an increase third row three single crochet and then an increase fourth row four single fourth row four single crochet and then you increase that's how we are going to do it until we make it to 18. We are on the fifth. We are increasing on the fifth. So again, one, two, three, four, and then five. You increase here, adding two single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Time to increase two single crochet. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, two, increase, one, two, three, four, five, that you increase doing two single crochet, okay, we are closer to the top. So we're doing our last row of increasing on the fifth. Three, four, five. Then you increase right here. Okay. So now instead of increasing on the fifth, we're gonna increase on the sixth stitch now. So like I said, each row you add a stitch. You add a single crochet so one two three I'm gonna place my stitch marker so I won't forget where I started three four five And then you increase so guys like I said you add you continue adding a stitch so I'm on my sixth row I will be back when I do 10 single crochet and then increase I will be right back so I'm on my six so continue following that pattern guys so this is how it's looking after increasing on the 10th stitch. I did say I was going to come back on the 10th row. And this is how it's looking so far. So I'm going to continue, like I say, keep adding a increase. I mean, keep adding a stitch and then increase. And continue doing that pattern for the next 18 rows. So I am at my... 10th row i will be right back when i'm on my 18 rows so i finished increasing and this is how it's looking now we are going to do two rows of single crochet so we're gonna go around do single crochet around one and do another row of single crochet two we're not going to increase or decrease just regular single crochet so Pause this video and I'll be right back when I finish. Okay, so now that we did our two rows of single crochet, now we are going 
to start decreasing so we are going to do 20 single crochet one two three once i do 20 single crochet i will meet you so you could post this video and i will meet you when i make my 20 single crochet 19 and then 20. now we are going to do i would decrease so we're gonna single crochet two together that's what we are going to do so if you don't know how to do that you go through one stitch you pull the yarn you go through the next stitch you pull the yarn again and then you will have three loops and then you pull all three and then after that you do 20 single crochets again and then you single crochet two together you decrease so i'm gonna show you guys one more time so this is how you single crochet two together you go through one stitch you pull the yarn you will have two loops you go through the next stitch you pull the yarn you will have three loops and then you pull all three so i am going to continue going around doing 20 single crochet and then decrease until we meet the beginning of our stitch marker so we meet our stitch marker over here okay so i'll be right back all right so now that we are back to the stitch marker now we are going to do 19 single crochets and then we're going to decrease so basically we are doing the opposite of what we did when we first started like we increase once like each we add a single crochet and then we increase here we're going minus a single crochet and then decrease so now we're going to do 19 single crochet I already did two three four okay so once i do 19 single crochets i'll be right back so we could decrease together so 19 and then we're going to decrease so again you go through one stitch you pull the yarn you will have two loops you will go through the next stitch Pull the yarn you will have three loops and then you pull all three and that's how you decrease so i'm gonna go around do 19 single crochet and decrease until i get to where my stitch marker is at so i will meet you guys there post the video and i'll meet you there so i already completed that row now we are going to crochet we're going to do single 18 single crochet and then decrease after you completed doing the 18 single crochet around and decreasing you will do a 17 cro single crochets and then a decrease and after you do that all around and hit the stitch marker you will do 16 single crochet and then decrease and we're going to do that all the way till we get to the 10th you follow the pattern 18 17 16 15 until you get to the 10 and then i'll be right back so this is how the hat is looking so far so once you complete the row you just do one row of single crochet and then you tie it off snip it cut it and then you are done with your barrette so yes